Hey y'all, today we're going to work on uh, Shimano 22 speed TLD. Uh, let's see if you can see that. What we have laid out in front are the things that we're going to replace. Uh, so it needs a new pinion, uh, main gear, one of the small spool bearings, and even though it doesn't necessarily need it, the dogs are worn a little bit, so we're going to replace the dogs as well. Alright, so let's start by breaking this down. I'm going to remove the handle first. And for this reel, I already cleaned it. So, I don't really need the glove here, but I'm going to jump right into um, putting it back together after we break it down. So, might as well have it on. Alright, so this comes off like this. Gotta watch out for that spring right there. Uh, let's get the screws out. And the way we remove this is to undo this screw here. That's what holds this in, holds this plate in place. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. And then we lift it up. And the way to take this off, I'm going to put my finger over the spring here so it doesn't shoot out on me. But we'll tilt it like, hold on, like so. Turn it and tilt it so we can pop that off. And I'm going to pop the screw out right now, or the spring out right now so we don't lose it. And then we just lift this plate up to get that spring out like that and that's it okay so to remove this uh, button here we'll need to undo this screw right here comes out just like that. Off comes the handle. There's no shimmer or anything behind it. Just this plate or this cover. And if you wanted to remove the uh, the this screw portion here, we can pop this C-clip off and it will be separated. Okay, so let's remove the the spring sits in there like that let's get the cam out on the cam there's a o-ring on here let me get a different screwdriver for this just take that off just be careful when you when you remove it that and we'll remove these screws so we can lift this lever off there's a click when you when you shift the uh, the lever of drag on this the clicking comes from this thing this plate right here that's screwed in I'm not gonna remove that but that's pretty straightforward I think Okay, you can remove this uh, washer here. Just gently lifting it up. And to remove the side plate, we're going to remove these screws here. That's it. We're going to remove these two screws here. Uh, before we do that, we're going to remove the uh, the rod clamp so we can easier or access it easier. And off it comes just like that.
Uh, sorry that came out on you guys. I wanted you guys to see that. Sorry. Leave that intact for a sec so you can see it. Uh, the bearing and the pinion gear were fused together, so that's why we're replacing both of those things, or the, the bearing and the main bearing. The dog we're going to remove as well. This is kind of shot out of place because we popped the main gear out. To remove these dogs, you're going to undo that screw and remove this e-clip right here. Come off. There you go. For these uh, <coughs> buttons here and here, to remove them you remove the e-clips from there and from there. If you want to do that, you just push this in slightly so you can remove the e-clip. And to put it back on, just kind of do the reverse. I'm not going to remove it. I think that's also pretty straightforward for you guys. Okay, so for the two speed, it comes off like this. There's a spacer there. And if you notice, there's a indentation here. But then on top, the indentation was fit or was sit facing down like that. I suspect it'll probably work both ways, but that's the way it came off, so that's where we'll put it back on. And the other gear just comes straight up. Now we can remove this screw here. It's counterclockwise to remove it. A spring inside there. Pull that off. If you notice the uh, this spacer here sits with this portion facing down and the concave section facing up. Let's get that spring out. What came out was this little doohickey there and that's essentially how it looks. It's not that scary. A little scary, but it's not. <clears throat> All right, so let's break down the rest of the body on the uh, on the reel. <clears throat> and now we can remove this plate by unscrewing this. comes up like that and we can rest that to the side okay so let's go ahead and remove this uh, the click mechanism on this one to do so you need to remove these two screws here it comes just like that and to remove this uh, the tongue or the paw itself you need to pop off this e-clip right here and up it comes you want to pay special attention to the washers on this to how it sits there's one on top, or there two, or one on the bottom, I don't remember. One on 
the bottom. And there might have been two here. And just one. That's essentially how it will sit. All right, so that's that for the body. Let's go ahead and work on the uh, on the spool and the drag. This just comes up, which is the uh, this gear here, excuse me, to remove this drag cover. You simply unscrew it to the right, turn to the right counterclockwise, or clockwise, excuse me, and up it comes, just like that. This is one of the bearings I have to replace. Now it's the other one. Okay. Push that out like that. And to remove this plate, we have to undo this clip right here. Just be careful you don't scratch the plate itself. And try to protect the spring from shooting out on you. That's that for that. All right, so that's that for that portion of it. This is the bearing we're gonna replace there. All comes with the spring. <coughs> so let's undo these uh, screws over here on this side so we can pull the shaft up that's all one piece nothing happens there push that out like that and what you'll notice is on this one there's a e-clip right there that we have to pop off before we can go any further So remove the tension washers or the clutch washers. There is a shim right there that sits under that. And we're going to remove these two C-clips here to pull this bearing off. I just use a, my tweezers to do it. But there's a tool that you can use. Shot pretty far. Let me grab that real quick. When anything's on a load, you gotta <clears throat> you wanna be careful that they don't go flying off on you. Alright, so off comes the bearing. This is the large bearing on it. This is the small bearing that we're going to replace, and where is my other bearing? In there. Let's get that removed. Hold on a second. Okay, and now to remove the drag plate, just simply lift this up gently like so and that's it that's how you break down a pen I'm sorry I love saying pen because I like working on pens uh, Shimano TLD 22 speed uh, I'm gonna come back to you in a sec and ensure to put it all back together okay we're back <clears throat> Let's do the uh, spool first. Uh, we'll do pretty much the entire spool and then we'll do the dog, I'm sorry, the uh, the click mechanism. Then we're gonna take a little break, grab some water or something and come back to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this 
drag plate greased up. Um, I will grease under here. While I'm at it, I'm going to grease the other side where the other bearing sits. <clears throat> and now we can work on the, uh, the shaft. Uh, before I do that, let me show you. Uh, these bearings are already cleaned, so you can hear that. This is a clean, unoiled bearing. And this is a cleaned and oiled bearing. So let's go ahead and add oil to these two bearings here. Just put a drop. I like to put two drops on this one. All right, good. So let's do the clutch washers and we're gonna grease these things up. Let's put a light coat on each one of these. Then we'll get our, uh, our bearings set on here. We'll add one of our Hey, come on. Wrong way. Right way, wrong way. Don't be difficult. We're going to add one of our C-clips to the bottom here so it doesn't come back down. And to do this, you can use the pliers if you want. Um, I just kind of press it on there. If I can get it, it's actually not that difficult, but I'm making it more difficult than the seams. And just push it on. We can put our shim or our spacer. Then we can put our clutch washers and they're going to sit um, concave to concave like a flying saucer. Then we can put our e clip just above that. Like that and that's good to go okay so now we can stick this through here let me go ahead and grease this up a little bit stick this through here like that and we can put our plate on to lock it in place I'm going to add a little bit of um, grease to these holes to help prevent them from seizing up or getting locked in there.
Then we just stick our screws in. One thing about things being difficult. <clears throat> things are always difficult looking at them uh, essentially at face value, right? You look at them and you go, that looks like a lot of moving pieces. Uh, it might be tough to do. I don't know if I should work on this. Should even try to do it myself. Uh, but once you start breaking down in sections, you'll realize that it's not that difficult to do. Doesn't mean you should do it <laughs> if you don't feel comfortable doing it. But <laughs> but nothing is rarely is everything is anything ever as difficult as it seems. That's the point I'm trying to make. All right, on with this small spool bearing here. Get that seated inside. Don't touch the inside part. Let me get my spring and just do it that way. All right, that's seated inside. We can add our spring there. Add our second bearing. And let's go ahead and add our drag plate. Like so. Set that to the side and I can work on this here. Put this on in a sec and show you guys where this goes. Okay, so as I, was, as I was saying, the way to put this together is add a little bit of grease inside here. This is where the second bearing from that spool will sit. I'm also going to grease around here where that ring sits to um, secure this to the plate. And I'm going to add a little bit of grease here as well. That channel right there. Okay. So this will go on like this. Plate goes above it. And just find it sitting like that. Turn it over. And now you can put this ring on. Like that. And now we can just take this floating plate, drop it on like that. Alright, looks good. And close it up. You don't want to strip the, the the threading on this, so just be careful. And just hand tighten it, but make sure it's pretty secure. All right, we'll leave this separate for a sec. That's the spool and the drag system. Now we're gonna put the uh, the click assembly in. Uh, I'm gonna leave this out until the end as well. That goes on top on the uh, on the spool shaft right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the clicker put back in. All right. So if you remember, we took off the Teflon portion or this washer right here and that went up through this hole right here on one of these metal pieces then on with the tongue itself and next was the other washer that. I'm going to lock this down with the E-clip. And 
this might take a little bit of effort so I would only recommend doing this if the clicker itself is damaged There we go. And now we can put this plate or the click ring on. I'll grease this up. Now we can just set that in place like this. Like that. And then we just screw this in place. While we're here, I'm going to show you what I didn't remove, which was the uh, plate, the line card plate, which is right there. I'm going to take it off and put it back on right away. But it can be removed by removing these screws here. You can certainly put a little bit of grease under here so it doesn't rust from underneath, as well as some grease inside here so these screws don't kind of rust in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna <clears throat> stop the video for a sec, come back to you and finish up the rest of the reel. Okay, so let's do the the two speed uh, portion of it. All right, so <clears throat> take this and just stick it in. We want to make sure that's kind of lined up with these that groove right there. Take our spring. All right, so I did a little faux pas, um, and I could tell when I was testing the reel out, it felt it was slipping, and obviously I, there was something incorrect inside here. So what it turns out is that I put the screw, or sorry, this spring here, uh, right there, on top. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I was thinking about something else. I don't know. Anyhow, it's a little embarrassing, like I said, but I don't want you guys to get the wrong information. So I'm going to show you how to put this uh, two speed in properly and then just kind of run through the rest of it. So that smaller spring sits inside there. Uh, I'm going to add some more grease to this just to make sure we don't get any stickage. I apologize for that. Uh, we're all human, but it never feels good to make the mistake. All right, get this in there like so. Get a larger spring, put it in there like that. And then we're going to take this and set it just like that. Everything else is the same, it's just the spring was in the wrong spot. Tighten that down. Now we can put on our gear. On like that. And then our main gear, our second main gear goes on. Like that. Okay. So let's get to the. Oh, wait, there was something here I wanted to show you. What was it?
forgot. Anyhow, let's do this. Let's put the uh, the real uh, clamp back on before we go any further. So for the real clamp, this these screws don't actually sit all the way down. They just screw down, and whenever they stop is when you stop. While I'm here, I'm going to add some grease to these uh, screw holes right here. Okay. So let's get the dogs put in. These are the old dogs, and we're going to replace these. Their new ones. Add a little bit of grease to them. And now we can put our post on here or this uh, spring. sits inside that groove right there like that. I hope you can see that. And we just screw it in place. The dogs are just going to sit on here like this. So then we get our e-clip and put that on there to keep it in place. There we go. Sorry about that. All right. All right, so let's get back to this. Uh, oh, I need this. What do we want to do here? Uh, we don't need this. We're going to put on the uh, the nameplate and the lugs. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I'm going to add some grease inside here where the uh, where just a little rod goes off the uh, spool. And now we're going to add some grease to these points. Right here as well. Okay, so to put the nail plate on, I'm just going to drop it in there. Stick a lug in. And then just screw it in. The uh, black screws will be going in from the uh, the left side or the open side. All 
All right. <coughs> so now we can get the spool in and then get the uh, rest of the pieces put on there. I'm going to grease up the uh, the gears on this. Getting a lot of calls today, I'm sorry. My apologies. Yep. Alright. Let me pause this up for a second. I'll get right back to you guys. Alright, sorry about that. <coughs> okay, let's um, continue with this part here. I'm adding grease in here for the uh, main bearing. Even though it's graphite. I like to get some grease inside there. Let's get this main bearing just stuck in there. And I'm also going to grease inside this bearing to hopefully not let it stick <coughs> or corrode in there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna get our gear. Just take that through here like this. And then we can put in our screw after we put on our handle. Mm, let's put some grease around here as well. And we gotta get our cap. our cap put it on handle and you're gonna need to line this up so those two screws on either side are lined up with the uh, plate but we're gonna do that in a sec let's make sure this is tight that's good <clears throat> Leave that to the side. And let's get our plate and put that on. Okay, so let's add a little bit of grease to here. And let's grease this entire thing down. Then we'll add our spring. And I like to add the spring like that. So when we get to that point, I add it from the top. I think I'm gonna leave it on like this for a sec. Hold on. Stay. Let's do it this way. Angle it down like that. Oh, come back. Hey. Angle it that. Hold on. Angle it down and just push. Push, 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 push. Until it sets in place. And you're good. <coughs> out of the way so what you're gonna do now is push this in at an angle like so and then you're going to rotate it and get it to set over the screw and we're just checking to make sure to see if we have it lined up properly and it looks like we don't, so we'll have to fix that. Yeah, we'll have to fix it a little bit. Okay. Mm, that looks good. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> now we can take this screw here and screw this in place.
nice. All right, so let's get this cap on. Then we can screw that in. Let's go ahead and get this spool inside here. We're going to take our little post here, add some grease to this side and to this side. Stick this through. Now we can just get our spool inside. Needs to fit inside this uh, little slot here. There we go. So let's get our pinion and just stick that inside here. It needs to lock it and it's there. This needs to sit in place. So if this doesn't fall into place, then it's not set properly. It's fine the way it is now. It's just set in, into place there. We can get our screws and just put those in to tie it together. Let's try that again. And with the back screws. I'm not locking anything down yet. I'm just uh, putting them in there to secure the side plate to the reel. And these I will lock down because once I put that quadrant on there, they won't. I won't have access to them anymore. Okay, I'll do the rest in a sec. Let's get the quadrant back on there. take our lever again start close to the free spool section and make sure it's set on there that's flush drop our cam in there and then we're gonna make sure that these prongs sit in there properly get our spring and then just screw it in So let's finish up with these screws and then we'll test the reel out. Okay. Okay, here's free spool. Good. Let's get some drag on this. There's low gear, uh, high gear. Low gear. Check our drag out. Feels good. High gear. Still feels good. Clicker. No, 
Okay. Again, sorry about that uh, little uh, mess up there. Hate to say it happens, but it actually does. And then you gotta open the reel back up and either figure it out or fix it. But you gotta get it right. All right, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, until next time, listen, guys, I know the coronavirus is going around right now, so I, I hope you guys are being safe. Um, just listen to your, your governor or to your representative as to what they say and follow those uh, directives. I think we'll make it through alive. All right, until next time, stay safe and tight lines.